What is going on, Lunatics? Let's have a quick conversation about everything that's going on in the Luna Classic universe. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, it'd be nice if you were subscribed to the channel. But we're going to talk about how everything is broken out in this market, how it affects Luna Classic, uh, USTC. There's some information that just came out regarding uh, Terraform Labs. Now, Terraform Labs is not directly affect because they're not part of uh, the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem, but because they were the creator, everything that goes on around them and in relation to them will have some sort of impact on the price of Terra Luna Classic. So just understand that it, it's nothing that it, it's not a problem, if you will, but uh, it could be, and it's not a bonus, if you will, but it also could be. So, uh, but here's the important part. I want to bring this up right now. So, uh, the SEC has raised an alarm bell, if you will, because Terraform Labs transferred $166 million to the Denton Law Firm since the start of 2023. Now, the SEC argues that these transfers have been cleverly done to avoid future troubles linked to allegations of defrauding investors, but they're calling it a, an opaque slush fund for its lawyers. Uh, the, now, here's the thing. Um, <laughs> if that's the case... Uh, could it be that the Denton law firm is actually charging a large amount of money to protect it from the SEC and that at the end of this, the SEC is going to end up losing to begin with so that <coughs> it could be reasonably assumed that there's no reason to worry in the first place and that the SEC is overreacting? I don't think so. Um, it says that it's only earned $80 million, basically, is, is kind of their argument here. Uh, they say in a strong plea, the SEC is that Denton's should not represent Terraform or its affiliates unless it gives back the remaining $81 million of payment. Also, the SEC insists on putting the Denton's future fees under the watch of the bankruptcy court. And that, you know, um, <laughs> that would be certainly an interesting thing. What they're basically saying is that they're hedging on the market and using this law firm to do that. So it's interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, also, it should be noted that the uh, Terraform Labs have also all, have they they've already proven that they can pay back their potential creditors. So it's interesting to see this play out. Uh, next up, uh, we've got uh, price prediction here. This price prediction, very simple. They're calling it really bearish. And, and I'm just going to summarize this for you. Uh, because it's from Coinpedia, so it really doesn't do anything. Uh, it's just a, a restatement of everything that's obvious at this point. Um, and it's going to say that currently it's bearish because it's at 80, 80 of 100. So it's supreme greed for them means bearish. So um, take that for what you will. Also, no new real government governance here. Uh, mint cash burned 5 million USTC and grows. Not even the big burn for the day. But um, that's actually a pretty cool sort of thing. Um, then you have the price action over here, 14,331, just kind of idling sideways on this uh, big move from this FIB retracement. So I'm expecting a move into 14,958 coming up very shortly. It looks like we're just kind of ranging, bouncing around here, but I think the momentum is still in the positive. This is a little aggressive. We're not going to see that maintain itself, but for right now, it should be noted that what we're doing is we're minting these higher highs while we're doing the same tops over here. And that's going to be a wedge pattern. And this wedge pattern, if you will, generally is going to break out to the upside. So uh, I think we should be watching this and paying attention because uh, I think that, you know, in short order here uh, at any point because of this, you know, we rip up here, come back down for a retest and then boom, we're breaking out of it. And hopefully in this pattern, we break completely upwards uh, and start to test some highs. It, it would be good to test some highs. Not because everybody needs to take profit or anything like that, but because people need to feel that sense. You know, there's been a lot of work going on, uh, and it would be nice to see a, a win for the for the the gipper, if you will. On USTC, broke out, broke up, broke sideways, broke down, uh, and then just kind of is ranging here in this 3.7 area, zooming this out a little bit longer uh, on these time frames, and you can see like it just kind of. Uh, you know, we predicted it would go down, didn't go down. We predicted it would go up, it went up slight, but only slightly. Uh, and I was saying that either one of those could happen. And then, of course, it did the one thing that it shouldn't do, which is just range <laughs> across this level. When you have that kind of breakout, guys, right now, this moment, this is the time to increase your crypto portfolio. You're probably not going to want to cash out for at least another year. You're probably not going to want to cash out at least for nine months. The top of this market is not coming for another year and a half, 18 months, maybe even two years. 
in that period of time, what you want to do is have as much of your crypto as you possibly can. And that's where cryptonomy.finance comes in. That's where you stake in order to earn more yield. Take these fixed rates over here, grab your favorite crypto, I'm going to go in on a little bit of SHIB. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to convert this over to Bitcoin. I'm going to use 0.2 Bitcoin. And I'm going to do this for 12 months. I'm going to earn 100% more SHIB than I currently have. That's all it took for me to make this happen. Now, the big money, the big money is not from the fixed. The way that you get more is right here. It's all of these launches. This launch pool right here, this is the place to make a lot of money. So go check out cryptonomy.finance today. Tell them Believe sent you. It's one move or the other, right? Well, this is actually a positive because it's building a new floor and it brought us back to the previous floor. That means sentiment is positively changing. So if we're doing that, then the next step is coming into the one, the 3.6 range, right? Well, that's exactly what it did. So what's next? After 3.6, uh, you kind of move up here and then you get into this range right here at about five cents. So in the event that there's a play out, there's a, a, a real sense of, of movement here, uh, then you can expect this next move is into this range right here between four and a half and five and a third cents. So that's the next looks like uh, that's the next area at play. And that's going to be positive momentum. Um, if we have that kind of play out, then this is the next area. So just be watching for that kind of move. Um, I flipped all my uh, USTC back into Luna Classic because I was expecting Luna Classic to do a pump. And it's actually doing a pump right now, at least a little bit. But USTC is not moving at all. So I'm going to be flipping it back pretty soon because, again, I do think there's a big move for USTC as it flips up into this range. And if I can catch it at the right time, then it's a good flip and I earn more Luna Classic to use in the future. Uh, genuine uh, The Genuine Labs proposal is still kind of sitting out here. Uh, the voting, not, not as favorable as it was. Originally 62% for four, 26% uh, against, uh, one Nova veto, and then 9% already abstaining. And look, I mean, you really kind of break this down and start finding out um uh, finding out who it is that's voting against building um and remember this is a thirty thousand dollar budget they might be against paying them thirty thousand dollars could be i don't know but if you're voting no uh sure would be nice to see who's voting yes who's voting no guys you can go check that out so make sure that you do so that you know and if you're staking with the people who are voting against you change to somebody else Go stake with somebody else. Don't stick with the same people who are screwing you. Uh, so then, uh, moving over here, uh, the overall price action down to 120 million, down 50% on the day. Market cap down 1%. USTC, kind of the same thing, uh, down a little bit. Still aggressive for the day, but down 3% on the total overall market cap. And then an update here that as of now, Binance has burned another 2.2 billion Luna Classic. So you got a nice day going here um, for, for burns. And that leads to the final piece, um, building on Luna Classic. We need builders to build on Luna Classic. In order for that to happen, we got to have a um, a warming and welcoming community. And that's what's gonna, I'm going to bring you up to that Lenny Lunk that uh, I mentioned yesterday. That is a meme coin on the Lunk chain. And meme coins tend to blow these chains up. Now, here's the thing. Um, if you go back to Solana, the first meme coin was Bonk. And it launched with that the the Saga phone, but as the first meme coin, eventually I think it hit 1.7 billion dollar market cap. That's how aggressive this thing was uh, for people when people found it. So I I, I do want to, and, and I'm not telling you that you're going to make money off of Lenny Lunk or anything like that. I'm not telling you that, but I'm telling you that it starts with memes. So if you can build on this chain and you can create an economy on this chain, that's to the good. If you can create things that people are interested in, and then you can do a good job of marketing and creating more interest in it, that's going to work to the benefit of the entire blockchain. But that's on you, on us. We're a DAO. Like we're, we're de this is decentralized. We, we put everything up for vote. So we want builders to build and it's going to start with memes. And if this Lenny Lunk happens to just absolutely blow up and take off, then we're all rewarded for it. But the important part to that reward process is the chain gains more notoriety. It gains more value. It gains more exposure. And then the next thing you know, your lunk bag is pumping. But if you don't believe me, just look around and start engaging with Luna Classic protocols. This is not financial advice. My name is Bleeves. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.